good morning students welcome to your computer class in your last class you have learned html and the basic structure of html now in today's class we will start chapter 9 and we will learn the first advanced feature which is written in your book that is list so what is list list is a list of item it is used to represent related items arranged one below the other either with number or with bullet so there are two types of list in html one is ordered list another one is unordered list ordered list is also known as numbered list because here each item in the list is marked with number for ordered list in html we have ol element ol for ordered list this is container element or paired element that means it has one start tag and end tag and in between start and end tag of ol element we can use multiple li element which is empty tag li for list item so for each item of the list we have to use li so for five items in the list we have to write five times li for 10 items we will write li 10 times now i will show you how to write html code in notepad to make a web page and in web page we will make one ordered list so let me open notepad first is notepad now to write html code we have to follow the basic structure of html html code always starts with html start tag and it ends with html end tag which is identical to start tag only starts with slash then in between start and end tag of html element we have to write head section and body section so head section will come before body section head start tag head end tag then below that body body start tag body end tag in between start and end tag of head element we have to write title title start tag title end tag so title element will contain the title of the web page i am giving my web page as the title of my web page then in body section we will not write any body text we will make list order list so for that which element ol element ol start tag and slash ol end tag in between start and end tag of ol element we have to write li for item li first item is suppose keyboard next time again we will write li for next item mouse then li for monitor and last li for printer so this will create one ordered list with four item keyboard mouse monitor and printer now let me save the file for that we will go to file menu we will click on save or save as both are same first time save this is save as dialog box first we have to select the location where we will save the file i am keeping this desktop only because from desktop easily we can access the file now save as type you have to change from this default text type to all files type because we are not going to make text file we are going to make html file so any name you can give but don't forget to give .htm or .html as extension for your web page so i am giving my page .html let me save it so this is the file is created on my desktop file name is my page.html but it took the icon of my default browser which is microsoft edge that means when i will double click on this file to open the file will be open in microsoft edge browser let's see see this is my browser window one tab is there for my web page and it is showing the title of my web page that is my web page and this is the list on the body section with four items keyboard mouse monitor and printers and they are numbered like 1 2 3 4 so this is default numbering for ordered list but we can change this numbering to alphabet or roman number how for that we have to use one attribute called type now to change anything in coding we have to open this file in notepad my file is minimized here in the taskbar i can open my file from here this is my notepad file which contains the actual coding of this web page here with ol we have to pass one attribute that is type so what is attribute attribute is the extra information which we can pass with the tag name to change the appearance of the element so type equal to in double quotes you have to write the value which will appear here as the number for the items 
Now if I write here capital A, capital alphabets will be used to mark the items. If I use small a, small alphabets will be used to mark the items. If I write small i, small roman numbers will be used. And if I write capital I, capital roman numbers will be used to mark the item in the list. Let's see. Each time you have to save the file if you change anything in the file. Save it. Now to reflect the changes in the web page, you have to reload the page or refresh the page. For that either you can click on this button or you can use Ctrl plus R shortcut key. I am using Ctrl plus R. See now, the numbering are Roman numbers. Capital 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. I hope you understood ordered list. Now we will learn unordered list. Unordered list are also called bulleted list. Why? Because in unordered list, items are marked with symbol or bullets. Three type of bullets are there. One is disc. Next one is circle and last one is square. So this is the default bullet for unordered list. For unordered list only we have to change the tag. It will be UL for unordered list. UL. UL start tag, UL end tag. Let me save it. Refresh. See, this is default bullet. That is field circle. We can change it to circle or to square. Circle means hollow circle, empty circle and square means field square. So here also we can specify the type of the bullet using type attribute. Type equal to, I am writing square. Square. In double quotes. So if the value of any attribute is text attribute, you have to write that text within double quotes. And if it is number value, no need to use any code. So now it is square. Save it. Refresh it. Now see, fill square. So this is all about list two type of list we have learned ordered list and unordered list you must read this list from your book and if you have computer in your home you must practice this code in computer so today up to this much in our next class we will learn another advanced feature which is img element so till our next class bye have a nice day